like he's here with me. Isn't it? Isn't it? Don't you think? It's like he's here in the room. Oh, I'm so pleased. Anyway, but if you didn't know, T-shirts arrived, so I'm loving it. If you've got yours, please send me a picture on Twitter. Today's the final day of the season. That was quick. Uh, but yeah, Bristol Rovers, Leicester City. Let's not hang about, okay? There's a transfer special next episode, I'm thinking. So uh, let's crack on, shall we? Bristol Leicester, do it. The intro, I mean, do the intro. <laughs> then viewers welcome back to the sulfur story since we last met uh where we took a bit of a beating at the hands of aston villa things have picked up just a touch by which i mean we won three matches we also lost three matches four matches uh so it's gone it's been a mixed mixed affair we've scored in all the games though so we're obviously we're scoring goals our defense though is obviously lacking the goalkeeper changes haven't quite gone to plan brian he's trying his best he's well, he's got two more games today let's hope uh, he does okay the big news though uh coming out of, of the save is that we are safe we are safe in the championship. Our season has concluded in that area. Uh, the points gap is now far and away uh, big enough. Hence, it's not three games today because it doesn't matter as much. Only two games. Um, but yeah, some some ways to end the season. We want to end the season on a high. Uh, the, the highest place we can finish if we win both games will be around that 10th spot, 10th to 12th spot. Um, obviously, depending on what other teams do. If we don't do so well, we can drop down as low as like 20th if uh, if it all goes... Well, no, probably not 20th, probably like 19th if it all goes tits up. So, let's get into today's game then and let's show you the team. So, unsurprisingly, uh, Jeff Thomas has only just come back from another injury. Uh, so, he's not actually going to play today. Harrop's going to play. Thomas will obviously feature in the second game. Renard uh, is, is probably going to see out his spell at the club now 11 days to go uh, and it's, it's sad to see him leave there is a clause in his contract which means i can keep him for three million pounds but as good as he is as much as i like him i don't think we're going to have three million pounds to spend maybe another loan for another season and then we'll see what happens after that much like a man i had at palmer uh, and this is the team then brian in goal the fire deji both with jackson at uh, harrow wellington not and kinsella hall to play just but just in front of those two with the harp and lawson up top hopefully we can get ourselves a win get back to some uh, some form as we end the season and that can take us and propel us into next season right then game time let's dance just before we go by the way brian's wanted by benfica porso inter juventus napoli and sporting i have absolutely no idea why it's not based on his performances this season i'll tell you that much okay uh we're playing bristol first who are a they're an okay team 11th play uh, 13th place even if we beat them we do indeed oh, do we get above them yes we do let's beat them then that should be the plan their favorites for the game heavy favorites for the game playing a 4-4-2 right i'm fearful that our end of season may end with like three wins out of the last 10 games and that won't be so good all right this this i must try and improve the team talks i've messed up the team talk four of them seem bothered the front three and the fire brilliant right come on Salford. let's end the season well let's end it right and then let's uh well i might as well go because we're only doing two games i'll go over a few of the awards and stuff at the end of the season as well uh, and we'll talk about who's been the top performers this season and things like that so uh so stay tuned there's lots more to come in this video and that starts with a goal by bristol with their first shot on target matthew penny with the goal not a great start is it viewers not a great start it's a ball played in and uh yes we've gone back to the three at the black formation not going great as of yet this will be out of all the seasons we've done so far this will be the most standard of seasons we're going to finish bottom half of the league table no playoff drama no promotion drama no relegation drama just safety and i guess really first year in the championship that's kind of what we wanted bristol by the way are coming forward and well it's problematic i know it's only 12 minutes on the clock but i'm going to take harrop off and bring on jeff thomas because i'm worried that we're not going to score again it's another cross and we don't deal with it at the back post we also he's, he charged up there prematurely all right the games the games continue 20 minutes on the clock can jeff thomas get involved just come back from another injury he, he loves those injuries that he does the harp well, the harp oh yes the harp scored a goal the harp has had a very underwhelming season that's only his ninth goal of the season he's not featured as much this year and he's just when he has played he's not putting the performances you might expect the ball plays through here though the harp you'd expect him to finish that one in all fairness that comes off the bar and he smashes home the next one off the bar again well back in the game 2-1 plenty of time left bristol ball played through and it's another goal it, 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 well it kind of came out of nothing well i'll show you in 3d oh this is just not the way you want to end a season it's knocked back Federix plays it in it's a little bit hopeful headed on and we're just left standing again I don't, I, back three 
Brian there, by the way. Let's just not talk about it. Our back three, though, not putting in the performance I'm expecting at this stage in the season. They should be up for this sort of game. If there's one area I'm looking to improve, the back line may well be it. We may go to a traditional four. As we say all this, the harp goes through and a good tackle. I think next year might see the death of the three at the back. So, lots to play for. Ball going through again. The fire gets a tackle in. Bristol continue to come forward. They're making it very difficult for us. Ball played in. And that one's off the post. Chance for Huddersfield maybe. Lawson going through on goal. Can he get a ball into the goal? Well, he's had a shot. Jeff Thomas with a rebound. And it's gone out for a corner. It's early signs of, In terms of the game, they've had three shots on target and scored three goals. We're not as clinical, which suggests our chances haven't been as good. They've had three clear-cut chances and have scored every single one. That is clinical football. Jeff Thomas, though, on this right side. And I'm just going to end the highlight. You never end a highlight when Jeff Thomas is crossing it in. Let that be a lesson to you. At half time, aggressive, showing me something else. They love it. I want to play with a bit of verve, a little bit of attitude. Not enough of that today. We're on the beach. We know we're safe. Job's done. We're not asked. That is not good enough. Okay, maybe a final chance for us in the game if we can get it forward. It's, it's very stop starty. It's the 83rd minute now. I've gone forward quite a lot. We've progressed far into the game. The harp now, chance, and he's not taking those chances. Chances he would have taken in League One. And the championship has been a little bit too much for him, I dare say. Cor uh, I was going to say corner. It's a free kick. 85 minutes on the clock. Bri uh, Brighton? Who, who is this team? Bristol? Come forward. I'm going to Brighton. That's why I'm getting confused. Bristol, ball in, blocked, and, well, it's it's almost away. If we, we're, it, Dangerously, we're going to get this away at some point, you hope. In this game, there's been a big disconnect between the midfield and the front two, and they're just not, they're not working in tandem, I dare say. Brian with a good save. Five minutes left to go. I don't think we get back into this. Not long later, Bristol come forward again. Headed clear. The shot comes in. This is a beating of epic proportion. It's 4-1. The game suggests we've got more possession, more shots, and somehow we're coming away 4-1 losers. I'm not sure how it's happened, really. And there it is then. Bristol 4, Salford 1. Very underwhelming, wasn't it? Right, game two. Final game of the season against Leicester. They're safe as well. It's a bit of a dead rubber, but let, let's beat Leicester. The, the winners of the Premier League this season. Let's assume so. Let's, like, at this point, let's just assume. If you're watching in the future and Leicester didn't win the league, it's their fault, not mine. You could say they've bottled it. Right then, game two and a little switcheroo. Uh, the Harp and Lawson are going to play up top again. Uh, the, do you know what? Jan Dander's going to play. Forget this. Dander's going to play through the middle. Kinsella, Knott, Harrop and Thomas. Uh, the fire. Nash is going to come in. Jim Nash is going to come in at the back and next to Borthwick Jackson. And Sean Thomas is going to play in goal instead of Brian, who frankly in the last few games hasn't done enough to warrant a start. Uh, so there we are then. This is the team. Hopefully the final game of the season at home against Leicester City. Can we find the win? I did want to play Andy Tano today, but he's got a broken foot. So... It won't be happening. I've said, come on, Andy. You, uh, broken foot or not, you can play. He said, no, boss, I can't play. That's not how it works. Broken foot, no game time. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Andy, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Once a season. Once a season. The game's kicked off. This is the first highlight of said game. Lawson. Well, again, we're going to get hit here. We're going to change the counter-attack for the rest of the game because I say that, it's going to, it'll change in like two minutes' time. But we keep getting hit and, and it's like we're not defensively ready for any attacks that come our way as, as Leicester come forward. They've always got a man in behind every single time. No matter what team it is, they should have scored that. They've hit the post. We're not looking that solid. Jan Dander's picked up a knock. He's been on the pitch for 26 minutes. I give you a chance. You throw it back in my face. Free kick. Dander. Ball in. Well, he nearly put it back in my throat, didn't he? Uh, not Harrop. The fire. Working it forward here. The fire. Not known for his right wing play. But he takes on his man and puts it to Lawson. Lawson shot at goal. And my good grief. He's broken the bloody net. Ollie Lawson. 15th goal of the season. He's been a fantastic loan signing for me. He's done a job. His goals have kept us in the division. That puts us up to 15th. And Leicester are taking a beating at the hands of Ollie Lawson. By which I mean he's hit it really hard into the back of the net. The fire takes on Chilwell, then plays it across. Lawson, one, one uh, touch out of his feet and slams it into that far corner. No goalkeeper in the world is saving that. And so far, we've not conceded. So uh, Brian will be most upset. Kinsella, ball through. The harp's on sweet. Now, I've seen him from these positions before. Either it gets the assist or gets the goal. And in the championship, he gets tackled. Kinsella, back to the harp. Can he find a ball through? 1-2, perhaps. Lawson, back on it. Uh, maybe on the outside. McNair makes a good challenge and maybe Leicester can come away with this. And they do so. Kent, left side, plays it in into the middle, forward to Spalvis, who gives it back to Colback. Colback plays it left to Chilwell. Chilwell, ball in, first time by Spalvis. And our keeper has been beaten. Lucas Spalvis with the goal. It's Salford 1, Leicester 1, and it's all Stevens as we head sort of towards half time. There's loads of time left, so not, not, not yet. Jan Dander struggling, the fire struggling. A double change at half time, likely. Jeff Thomas, first time he's had the ball at his feet. And what has happened there? 
giving it to Danda. Danda's played it forward to the run of Jeff Thomas. Jeff Thomas simply hasn't made the run. Maybe a second chance, though. Lawson brings it down this right side. Thomas is there with support. The harp! Oh, well, he needs two bites of the cherry. It happened in the first game. It's happened in this. The harp gets his 10th goal of the season into double figures. I've always backed him. I've always rated him. You can see here, Ollie Lawson does terrifically well, holds the ball up, puts the ball into the middle. Great shot first time from the harp. Good save by the goalkeeper. And then the volley second time finds its way through the goalkeeper. And that's 2-1. Maybe the harp needs Jennings. So maybe Jennings is the man we go for in the summer. Ball played to the back post. Kent, before half time, big chance and a big miss. 2-1. Plenty of goals in this episode so far. I feel like there have been goals galore. Rob Wellington's going to come off for Yandanda, who is struggling. Uh, the fire's also going to come off. Why risk him? We'll get Anya a game. This may well, this may well be Anya's last game for the club. Um, doesn't want to sign a new contract. His contract is up at the end of this season. So... That could be it for, for Anya. We've enjoyed his time very much. Hopefully he can put in a fine performance to uh, see out his career here at Salford as uh, Sean Thomas, Thomas catches the ball. That would have been bad. I would say, what's your favourite memory of Anya? But it's probably like the, the key points with him was be changing his name, I feel like, as Lawson brings it forward. Maybe a little through ball. Takes on his man. That was a magnificent play from Ollie Lawson. Borthwick Jackson scored a header. I was not... No, he hasn't. He hasn't. It's an own goal. Let's not even count it then, if it's not from our head. You can see here from the three-dimensional replay, so there's a packed crowd today. We've filled those seats behind the back. Both with Jackson uh, has put it into the back of the net. It's 3-1. All of a sudden, we might win the match. I don't mean to sound so shocked. I just, I, I am shocked. Leicester come forward. A little bit of space for their front players. It's Lassange, both with Jackson. Well, he didn't get a goal. And now, uh, in anger, he's giving away a penalty. Who's stepping up? Number 19, Spelvis, who got their first goal, is going to step up with the penalty. Can Sean Thomas make the save? Well, he gets hands to it, but it's it's gone in the back of the net. Salford 3, Leicester 2. Plenty of goals. They're coming forward. What the... What are we doing? Oh, we're 3-1 one up. 3-1 one up. Leicester fought it back from two behind. Thank you, text commentary. We've fallen out in the past. We're going to fall out again. Ball played in, back stick. Anya, I mean, I know you're leaving, but you've not left yet. Please defend. That's why we need to replace the back line. Sean Thomas kick out towards Wellington. We lose it, but Knott's picked it up. Can can we drive forward to get a fourth? That's the big question. Plenty of time left in the game. Wellington to Harrop. Jeff Thomas, he's made the move. Thomas, ball into the middle. The half's at the back post. Lawson's at the front post and pops it in. It's 4-3. Jeff Thomas with the assist. Ollie Lawson's 16th goal of the season. And we're back on top. I'm tempted to go to defensive, but there's half an hour left. So many highlights in this game. Kent brings it forward. Chilwell. Where's it going? It's a longer episode than normal. Thomas catches it. Half, to, half an hour to go. The game is very even. Ball played forward. The harp. Instant control. It was the kick from Thomas. Gives it to Lawson. He's on a hat trick. And my good grief. What a way to leave your final impression. This could be his last club, uh, last game for the club too. Ollie Lawson. 17th goal of the season. That's his hat trick if I'm not mistaken. It is indeed. This is quite the strike. The harp plays it off to him. And Ollie Lawson takes it past his two men. And smacks it into that far corner. Big things maybe for Ollie Lawson in his career. I guess we'll, we'll stay tuned to it. And see uh, if, he, if he produces goods elsewhere. But my good grief. That is quite the strike. Jeff Thomas with space to run into. Could this be 6-3? Jeff Thomas. He's hit the bar. Holy moly. Every two minutes, there's another highlight. It's in the back of the net. Leicester have got four now. Ryan Kent scored his second of the game. Technically, his hat-trick because he scored an own goal. They're, they're back in it. The ball's chipped in. Defensively, again, Anya just goes to sleep and Kent heads home. It's 5-4 it's now. <sighs> no more highlights if we just win. That would be ideal. It was never meant to be that easy as Leicester come forward again. 83 minutes on the clock. Oh, Kinsella, he's cut it out. Is it going to be Is it going to be a final goal for us? Are we going to put the final nail in the Leicester coughing? As not plays it out to Jeff Thomas. Can he take on his man? He chips it forward. What on earth is that? Why have I been shown that? It makes, it, I keep checking to see if I've got key highlights on. I do have key highlights on. There's just a lot of them. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, well, he... 5-4. Is that going to be it? That's the big question. Corner ball by Jeff Thomas. It's not over. Lawson, can he get a fourth in the game? Surely not. Into Billy not. Out to Wellington and there it is. 6-4. You would assume that's it. The end. Of, what a way to end the season, by the way. A 10-goal thriller against Leicester. Well, it's good that we didn't do three games. That's all I'll say. Slide tackle comes in. It falls to Wellington, whose shot isn't very good, but the goalkeeping is poor. No way is there going to be another goal. No way. End the game. Surely not. No. Thomas with a save, that's it. We've scored six goals, one clear cut chance, five half chances, and we score all of those chances. Salford six, Leicester four, game over. And breathe, everybody, and breathe. People have written us off today, but you've proved them wrong. And all season we've proved them wrong. We end the season in 14th position, 59 points, which means we're about 20 points off the playoffs, and that's how we've got to look at it. 
that's what we'll be aiming for next season. A playoff push. Why not, hey? This is the championship. Go big or get relegated and end up in League 2. That's the way the championship works. Right then, as we let the music play, there was no, there's no championship playoff semi-finals for us. Uh, we are going to have a quick look, though, to see who else did well uh, this season. I don't think there's going to be any awards at this point because we have to wait for the playoffs, but we can look at our own performances and see how uh, things went down. If we take a quick look at the top goal scorers, then you can see Oli Lawson up there with 17 goals this season. Renard and the Hart both scoring 10. 7 for Billy Not, uh, 5 for Kinsella. Jeff Thomas only got only got the ones at 2. 2 goals, my and on the assists, it's an underwhelming season for Jeff Thomas. He was hit by injury throughout. You can see some players there played 44, 47 games. He only had 32 appearances for us this season. Uh, he got nine assists. So he's had a decent year. Uh, Rob Wellington, Josh Harrop, uh, Ollie Lawson. Uh, obviously, another man that's fallen off. Stephen Kinsella. Only two assists this season. Wasn't necessarily out with injury, but quite a drop-off from last season. Maybe another position we're going to have to look to improve. And the average ratings overall this season. Jeff Thomas, once again up there, a 7.45. Rob Wellington, Josh Harrop, Steve Hall uh, played quite a big part this season, especially the second half of the season. Ollie Lawson as well, as you'd expect. A lot of these guys are going to leave uh, after their loan spells. Ollie Lawson probably been the main one. Where will he go to? Will he come back? Uh, we'll have to see how his career goes at Nottingham Forest. But it's certainly a breakout year for Ollie Lawson, and I wish him well in the future uh, in terms of us then that's that's where we stand it's all over um, a, a very good season for us 14th in the championship as I say next episode a transfer special there is money in the we've lost half a million oh for god's sake well there's still 2 million there hopefully there'll be a little bit more to spend come the end of the year as well and there it is then we love with care from Real to Benji until next time I'll see you next season with a transfer special goodbye I can use that I can definitely use that